Well, we can't do that because we're made of material substance and that's there's no way to do that. But there are things that travel at the speed of light. And what is that? Uh, those would be photons. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I like, I like, those would be, I like your finger gesture. That would be, I would say, what travels at the speed of light? Light does. Yeah. Okay. I, I was about to say light. <laughs> so if photons had a clock, the clock would never tick. Nice. Which means when I go to a mountaintop, as I did in graduate school, to observe the center of the Milky Way galaxy for stars that emitted their light 30,000 years ago, traveling through the gaps of interstellar space, and they move through space, come through Earth's atmosphere, they come down into the telescope, they reflect, go back to my detector, and land on my CCD chip. That photon, when it was born, at the star that emitted it, was detected at my telescope in the same instant. 